Hi. <laughs> Hi. What's up? <laughs> I'm sitting in the Cocoon Hotel in downtown Munich, and um, together with um, Leaf. Is it Leaf? Leaf, yeah. Yes, <laughs> it is Leaf because I had so many discussions about how to pronounce your name. Oh, you can say it however you want as long as it's not L E one F. Oh, I heard this too. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I've also heard Le one F. Le one F. Yeah, like a in, French. In, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are wrong. But anything else, leaf, left, whatever. Tell that, tell leaf, that to uh, anyone. <laughs> it's with a one, but it's leaf. <laughs> and booty. 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 Yes, Actually, booty. Not booty. Not booty. But, but booty. <laughs> booty like well, booty. I got one, one right. So. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You're pretty close. It's all right. <laughs> uh, that's my Bavarian slang. All right. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, w w yeah, and we are doing this interview tonight. Um, so I want to talk uh, with you a little bit about language because, um, you know, in, in hip hop music, there is like this inflational use of the term no homo. Mm -hmm. And I was, uh, I mean, I just wanted to know what your opinion is about this. Um, I think it was just a trend, a slang that was, you know, insensitive, like a lot of slang in hip hop is, um, like saying like that's gay is, you know on par with no homo um it actually has very little connotation about sexuality you know um like i've i actually sometimes say it to be funny about other you know things like kind of out of context uh yeah it's like pass me the nuts no homo <laughs> yeah actually um <laughs> that was the f i remember in high school i was like sitting at a table with my friends and i just walked up to them and i was like I want to suck a big fat dick, no homo, you know, <laughs> like, things like that. Um, yeah. Um, but would you say that it's maybe important to somehow make a new interpretation of the term, like, you know, interpret it in a... In a mm -hmm. Well, my favorite rapper who ever said no homo was Cameron um, from Dipset. And like he was using that term like as... Uh, It's kind of ironically when he was wearing like pink fur coats and pink Kangol hats and like had two pink cell phones and a pink Range Rover, you know, it was like that. He was like, no homo, no homo, like that. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's cool and funny because it's like really subversive, actually. Um, and so, yeah, I think that reappropriating terms, changing their meaning, you know, is a cool thing to do. Yeah. Um, you invented the new term called banji, right? <laughs> didn't you didn't, yeah, no, you didn't invent it. That's right. That's right. But you kind of, you kind of, you kind of, um, you, you use it yeah. for your, I mean, mm -hmm. in your way. Can you tell us a little bit about the term? Um, banji is a term from the states, from the northeast, specifically New York, Chicago, big cities in the northeast. That uh, uh, it refers to Latino and Black gay men who were on the DL, down low in the closet, uh, and they dressed and acted to emulate that. Um, it's the term from like the 80s. Uh, so when men were like wearing like sweatpants and t-shirts and like do-rags to like hide their, you know, sexuality or to display a extreme sense of masculinity that may have not always been honest. Um, and over time it's been, it's become a word that just represents that whole lifestyle, that like way of dress, that fashion, that mentality um and it's been appropriated by gay men who actually do feel masculine in those ways um because i personally do often even though i have this hair in right now <laughs> um, yeah the entire world use of the word banji it probably still has meanings of being straight acting and like maybe to people who like are not in new york right now and hear my music think i'm flip the one flipping it but it's culturally you know like there's like that is what it means to a person in New York right now. It doesn't really mean that someone's in the closet or denying any aspects of their gender role, gender dynamics. Um, it's, it actually does mean that, like, you know, like, if my friend is, like, wearing, like, really hot tights and, like, big boots and, like, a, you know, a really nice fitted or something, like, oh, he's being so banshee right now, you know? Everyone, like, a lot of people is, would say that in New York right now. Mm -hmm. um, how yeah. was the reaction in Germany? How did you feel uh, like the concert in Berlin the, last yeah, night? Um, how did you Berlin feel like the reaction was? The concert at Berlin Cantina went really well. Um, 
I was really into how much the crowd was into it. I personally felt that um, I was like I've been working with dancers and like just playing some like you know different kinds of rooms recently, and I was actually concerned that the crowd would not be as into it as they were, but they were really kind of raging, which was really cool. Um, I I didn't realize that that many people would be that excited about it, um, like in a very like vocal way. It's yeah. Hard to know what to expect. yeah, you know, it's hard to know what to expect, and this is the first tour with this music in Europe. You know, um, we've been to Europe before, but under, under totally different circumstances, and so you know, it's hard to know. We know that Dark York is popular, and we know that people are into into stuff, but it's hard yeah, to it's know hard to how much people will know, and when people know the lyrics to a song or know right. which song is which you know, it's yeah, like oh wow we do some like words to things that like i was like what how does exactly. who hears this <laughs> but i guess someone does the internet's awesome <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> um and is it different from from uh, the perception in um are you are you reading my, my oh question? no I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I, was I can't help but look at it it's right here in front of my face <laughs> good <laughs> anyway um Uh, was it is it different from the perception in 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 New York or in America? Um, I don't think it was, which was the surprise to me. Uh, the fact that it was actually a seamless transition coming over here from the shows I was doing like uh, last week, um, that which it felt pretty good. It felt really good. It felt like uh, I had entered a community that was already established um, in terms of listening to alternative music and alternative rap. Um, it wasn't. There wasn't really much shock value to what I was doing. It was just like, you know, actual open ears that, you know, were into it, which is cool. Yeah. I hope it'll be like that tonight. I have a feeling it will be. Cool. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Are you ready? <laughs> I forgot. <he's> <laughs> this is made out of touch this. Yeah, it's like <laughs> this. <laughs> this is for a music video. Um, that we shot on Saturday for a song called Soda. That's a, a booty and leaf song that comes out on Boys Minds Records. It's like the first single from the next release. Yeah.